My dear friends, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK tutorial. And today I want to talk to you about lights. Microsoft Flight Simulator currently supports three different kinds of lights. We have FlySim lights, it's a very original name, <laughs> and uh, their very own purpose is to illuminate a mesh, to shine lights over a mesh. Then we have emissive materials, that will shine lights by themselves. And we have some other type of lights that are the so-called orbs and are mostly used in uh, airports. And uh, let's see how we can implement all of those. Okay, so I've designed for my friend this hangar in uh, Wilmington. It's uh, the Atlantic Aviation Hangar and uh, with, uh, with some reference pictures here, I can see how the hangar looks in the night and uh, in the day. And uh, in the night, I can see it has uh, some uh, some lights. I can see how the hangar looks in the night by going into the in the render window. And uh, you can see that the hangar is uh, is uh, is full uh, black, pitch black. By the way, you can change uh, the color of your background by going into World World Properties and going black, black, black. And we need to add some lights to see in the dark to make the anchor look like the real thing. So I have a light uh, here in, in the back. So let's design it. And uh, to add a light, you can simply press add, light, and I'm using the spotlight here. As you can see, uh, the, the type of the light is uh, a cone here. And you can move the light with G. As you can see, the light is already starting to uh, to illuminate the mesh. So I'm gonna put the light into look in the right location. So G X to move and to Y, and you can switch to the normal uh, the normal move, then um, the material mode, so it's uh, better to see. And G Z, and now I have the light placed in the right uh, spot. So this light has uh, some parameter that we can set in uh, its uh, object data properties. And it has a color, uses some orangey yellow color if I want a um, warm light or some bluish color if I want uh, um, cold light. It's gonna be a warm light. Now we have a power settings. Uh, this is 10 watts, but it's really not 10 watts in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is more like an intensity value. And uh, 10 watts in um, Blender uh, in Flight Simulator translate to something like, uh, like 100 to 200 watts. So usually the slider in uh, real life uh, range from uh, 300 to 500 watts. So I'm gonna put maybe 15 here. And I can see the result of my light shining. We have some other parameters here that is uh, translated into Flight Simulator and are the spot size, which is uh, the angle uh, of the spot, the, how large the spot is. Pretty much, uh, pretty much that. No other parameters that translate into Flight Simulator. There are some other stuff that are Flight Simulator related only, and you can find them in the object properties uh, and in the MSF properties, as you can see, we have the flash frequency. This is the number of time the light flashes per minute. So if we put 10 here, we have uh, 10 flash in a minute. So uh, it's uh, a flash every six seconds. We have flash duration as in this is, uh, this is in seconds. So this, the light will flash uh, um, for one second. And we have the flash phase and the phase is the number of seconds after the minute. This parameter can be used if you want to make multiple uh, flashlights, like multiple lights flashing. And uh, the most important parameter is, is uh, the day-night cycle. Uh, if we switch that on, the light will illuminate the mesh only during night time and we switch off during the daytime. Uh, most likely we want this to be on all the time. So I don't want this light to flash and keep all this parameter to zero. Oh, we can be happy with this light, but there is something strange. Uh, the light is coming off from nowhere. There is no lamp here. 
there is no clear indication of the source of the slide. Uh, so we need to add a lamp. <laughs> and we're going to do that. Now we're going to design a simple lamp. So add uh, a cube in the scene. Add mesh cube. And what is that? It's here. Maybe I want to insect this. And it to extrude and maybe add a bubble. Like a real, uh, real lamp. And apply this bubble. Okay. And apply the scale and rotation too. So now we have a lamp and we need to add some materials because if we don't add the material, the light won't shine. And um, I'm going to add uh, a new material, maybe as a back color, like this. And I need a special material for the light here to shine by itself. And this is going to be our emissive material, uh, lamp emissive. And it's going to be white, and I want to be, I want it to go here. As you can see, it's not still emissive, it's slightly illuminated by the spot, but it is not still emissive. I want to go down, assign um, MFS standard material to it. And I want to bump the emissive color here from black, which is non-emissive, up. White is full emissive, and full emissive is a is a very bright emission. Okay, so when I'm going into the rendering mode, now I can see that the lamp is shining light by itself. Great, this material can have the day-night property too, so the light will switch off during the day. We're gonna add it because you know, energy savings. Uh, I usually parent my my mesh or join the mesh, the, the lamp mesh directly to the building because this little lamp, if uh, it is rendered in Microsoft Flex Simulator, will disappear very fast uh, because it's, uh, it's very tiny. While it is um, joined to the building, it's gonna be a very big object, so it will last longer. Okay, so other than emissive, uh, materials with uh, with color only you can have you can add textured emissive materials in fact i'm switching on my lamps to show you how is created an emissive material so here it is i have a texture for uh, the the base color and i have also a texture for the emissive fact i can show you how this is uh, without emission and it is uh, um, a texture uh, with uh, some roughness uh, material and uh, um, a drawing of the internal of the lamp so let's locate it so i can show you so this one is the texture for the base color i just grab an image of uh, um, a lamp from the internet and uh, then in um, gimp i have uh, made uh, the old texture uh, full black and uh, or, or more, almost full black and I placed um, a spotlight over it uh, What this does is when uh, When I put this into the emissive slot here in the emissive material slot uh, It shine during the night it multiplies the value of this texture during the night with this texture. This is the technical part of uh, how an emissive uh, texture works. Okay, now I'm gonna export our um, building and uh, just make sure that all your lights are inside the collection. Okay, now it's inside the collection. To export, we need to open the Azobo plugin and make sure that in our settings, punctual lights are enabled 
And by the way, those are my export settings. And uh, this one can give you some problems sometimes. Uh, I, I'm going to disable it unless it is uh, mandatory. Uh, so I'm going to export it right away. It's exported. And to make sure that our lights are exported, we can go to the, the sources and open the GLTF file with a notepad or some, some kind of editor whatever you want, and look for macro lights. If there is macro light in the extension used and some in the notes, now you know that uh, your um, uh, light has been exported. And those are the only values that are exported. So as I say to you, the intensity and the cone angle. Uh, there's another uh, option that uh, I haven't talked to you, which is uh, as a symmetry. I don't use it because it makes the light uh, really unreal. It pushes the light in the opposite direction of where the cone is. So it's really, it's really not useful. Uh, while we have the um, GLTF open, we can tweak some values that right now uh, can be tweaked only inside the GLTF. Uh, there is a parameter here for the for the mission. Uh, I'm talking for the mission. There is a parameter here to tweak the emissive scale, which is the, the, the strength of your um, of your light. And if we try to export this, we're gonna see uh, exporting that we have another. Um, parameter that is the Pronos Materials Emissive Strength. This won't work in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's not recognized, actually. And uh, to make it uh, recognizable, let's put this to one, or export it again. We need to tweak uh, manually the emissive factor. So emissive, it's not there, emissive factor. And now we can bump up how emissive our material can be. So 111 is full emissive, but it can be more emissive if we multiply it by 10. And those are RGB values. So the first value is red, the second value is uh, green, and the third value is blue. So if you want a red light, is like this. Okay, great. And every time you export, unfortunately, you have to uh, modify this value manually. Hope as Lobo fix this. Okay, uh, we have our uh, save. We have our building. Let's compile and put it in Flex Simulator so we can see how it is. Okay, so this is the building uh, uh, just exported into Microsoft Flex, into Microsoft Flex Simulator with the light that we have uh, added in uh, Blender. Uh, now, let's make the seam darker and the light shines. We can move away and we see that our light is still shining because it's big like the, um, the anger. Okay, so this is the missing factor of a value of 1 and in the right material, the lamp emissive. <laughs> Let's bump it. Maybe 10 or, or more. This is 10. You can see the bloom here, and you need to have your bloom effects activated. What if I push it to 100? Very, very bright light. And what if I push it to 1000? Oh gosh! <laughs> the bill is gonna be <laughs> very high with the light like that. Huh? But it's not so powerful until you, you, you are near the light. Because this is a fake after, the, this is a, the bloom effect. It's not a light that is big like this. This is very important. Okay. Okay, now, what if your anger needs a collision uh, obstruction light like this? 
So let's model it in Blender. And uh, I'm starting with a fresh scene. Uh, this is basically a cylinder. So add mesh cylinder. I don't need all the subdivisions because I'm going to shade smooth it. Uh, it's okay. Um, scale. Let's make make it with the proper dimension. It's going to be very big. <laughs> so maybe a diameter of five. Yes. This is okay. So GZ, maybe 30 centimeter. Then we need to extrude this part here, extrude and scale. And extrude again. Okay, and extrude again and scale much. And E to extrude. Okay, so we are in this part here. E to extrude again, so we make the black part. Extrude faces along normals. Okay, and now we need to make the top part here. Uh, I'm gonna uh, poke the faces, so we have triangles. Extrude it. And maybe press this edge here and Ctrl B to bevel like this. And the vertex here. Like GZ. And this is pretty much this uh, this light. Now for the materials, I'm gonna use I want this to be yellow. Yeah, this one. And this one here, I want it to be black. And the sign. And the part here, I want it to be red. And the sign. And this is basically uh, this lamp. No, it is not. <laughs> it's, a, it's an obstruction lamp type. Uh, it's 70 centimeters, maybe it's too big. Okay, 50 centimeters is gonna be okay. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, well, we want the, the the structure here to be maybe like this. And yeah, uh, we want to be transparent. So alpha blending, I put the alpha right back to maybe 30. Okay. Now we can see inside, and now I'm going to select this part here and Shift D to duplicate and scale it so I can have a lamp. Okay, and I want to assign to this lamp a new material because I want this to be emissive, so it's going to be red. It's going to be opaque, uh, well, and assign to it, it's going to be opaque, and I want the emission color to be red, and, okay, let's put this to the one. So, as you can see, uh, this part is going to shine. Uh, this is too, too transparent, so maybe we need less transparent. Okay, so the off can be right there. And maybe to this yellow, some metallic, and you know, some less rough stress. Okay, so now the lamp is uh, ready, uh, but is uh, is really small, uh, so it will um, uh, disappear from the simulation very fast. So we need to use uh, our older trick of adding to the mesh in edit mode, a cube, a very large cube or a plane, whatever you want. I usually use a cube. Okay, and to this cube, I'm gonna add um, invisible material. 
sign and usually my invisible material is red because uh, I use uh, the, the old uh, exporter and with the alpha like 0 0.1. Okay, uh, invisible material will not be visible in the simulator so you can use whatever value you, you want for the material. Uh, okay, so making sure this is part of your mesh and not another mesh, so this is a single mesh. And let's export this in Flex Simulator and let's see uh, how it looks. Okay, so back on the scenery, I'm gonna add uh, my obstruction light. And here it is. In uh, daytime and in nighttime. And it's not casting too much light, I would say. So let's bump up the missive. Let's bump up the missive. A missive factor. Where are you? Yeah, a missive factor. So this is RGB. Let's bump up to 100. And save. Okay. That's brighter. Oh, this is right in the way, so let's duplicate it so you can see better. Emissive factor. It's annoying. Okay, so now, now that the gizmo is uh, not too much in the way, you can see that we have uh, a nice bright red light. But uh, as we move far away, uh, the light will disappear. Uh, this is because the emissive part is is really is really tiny. So that is this one is illuminating uh, a little portion of pixels. And you say, Mamu, why don't you add a flex sim light in Blender? So let's make it. Task or selected, add a light, and let's add a point light, which is another type you can use uh, for this purpose. Like this, red of 50 watts. Let's make it very powerful. This 500 watts, <laughs> it's too much. It's gonna be too much. And night and day, night and day. And let's, let's export it. Okay, I have control lights. No, I don't have control lights. So in the collection, and I want to parent it to the structure. Parent to object. Uh, okay, yeah, now I can export it. <laughs> now, as you can see, this big light uh, is is really unrealistic. It's totally unrealistic. Maybe raising it. Light you raising it, it will work because this, this type of light is illuminating uh, um, pretty much everything around it. So, another option let's add uh, the, the spotlight. It's not okay, it's not okay because as you can see, this is shining uh, all in, in a in a position that is not correct. So, how to solve this problem? If you remember, I told you that there are three types of light in Flight Simulator, and the third one, the orb type light, is what is needed for this type of lamp. Uh, important, you can use this type of light only 
in airports or within an airport area. Let's see how to make those splendid lights. So let's remove all the stuff that are not needed. To add this airport light, we need to go to the airport object and, and go down to the light presets here. And you, you, you won't see obviously the stuff here that I have already added. Now you need to add in the light preset a fresh preset, add a preset. And we're gonna call this uh, tutorial light preset. And we can uh, add a light to this preset. And now we can choose the parameters of this preset like radius, intensity, and uh, so on. To see the precept in action, we need to add a way to, um, to use this preset. And um, we can select the mesh we want uh, this preset to be um, attached to, and it's gonna be the light, uh, mamo, uh, this, this, this one, okay, and use it. And now, to see the preset in action, we can remove this one. Yep. We need to add objects a light row, so called light row. And add it to the simulation. So, light row must have a minimum of two points. And the type of presets we want is the tutorial. Light preset. Okay, so now our light is displayed. Let's use these nifty vertices that will shine a light here and a light here. Okay, and this blue one is the light that is inside the light preset. So back to the airport. We can now define the properties of our light. So we need we want uh, the light to be red. It's gonna change to the red color. Okay, maybe uh, the bag. can define the position where the light is over the origin of our object. So the position here is not one meter. By the way, the value here is the uh, height, but is roughly 0 0.5 maybe. This is bugged as a bug. Okay, that's correct. Or maybe a 0 0.4. Okay, so now we can see the light anymore and it is in the right place. This has some bluish color inside it, it is not a problem. Uh, we can change the intensity of our lamp, so intensity of 50 maybe, or the radius of our lamp, so maybe 8 to make it bigger, maybe 5. Okay, and all the other parameters. So I'm gonna show you the. Uh, if we want to make it blinking, maybe we can. Uh, oh. Okay, this is uh, <laughs> the flashing uh, of the of the lamps. 
So the duration is uh, the, the length of the flash, the period is a flash of uh, every test second. So 0 0.5 is every half second and if I use one is a flash every second. Yeah, pretty nice. And well, this radius is uh, is too much, so maybe five is okay, and intensity is uh, maybe twenty can be okay. Let's do something different here. Uh, Want to change this? Not to vertices, but we want uh, a single lamp. Uh, we want a lamp every five meters, so like this. Okay, now as you can see, this light, this type of light, is very bright and you can see it from a very long distance because it's the same of the airport lights so how to use it uh, on uh, our hangar let's make it so i want to this to be maybe a big distance like this or oh, it really depends if you want a single light or uh, multiple lights let's try to see in the dark okay great now I want to place this light on top of my building okay and now where the light is I'm gonna put another type of uh, object, which is the light support, and add it. And the light support will raise, will raise all the light within its boundary. Of the light rows within its boundary. So I've placed it, and then I'm gonna raise up until I reach the height I want okay so let's move this in the corner Okay. I really love this. Yes, I really love this. And uh, now we can see the result uh, in the night. And look how perfect is our collision light. It's wonderful and it will shine from a long distance and this is a this is the proper way to make the collision light but unfortunately unfortunately we need to use it only with an airport object uh, so this is this can be useful for airports and uh, for helipads because you can uh, have an airport with an helipad but for uh, a normal scenery object unfortunately it is not possible to use this type of light and we hope that Microsoft, that Azobo will find us a way to use it for um, collision light for buildings, for the scenery, for uh, uh, things like uh, we love VFR. Uh, this is going to be, by the way, maybe six. Uh, oh, space density is too much. Uh, let's see if this. Okay, this is proper. And. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is proper. This is proper. Okay, and uh, to um, okay, let's save this. Uh, let's see if uh, we can build the scenery. So now I am outside of the project editor, and uh, unfortunately, our lamp is not at the correct altitude, and. Uh, this is because we need to use uh, um, 
a terraforming rectangle under the life support. Don't know if it, if, uh, it is a bug, I hope uh, this will be corrected, but uh, let's add it, shall we? And uh, going back into dev mode, the altitude uh, is okay, so let's add a uh, um, terraforming rectangle. What is this? Rectangle. Okay, I want to set the fluff to one. And okay, let's make it the size of the building. So it contains the terraforming the, the life support too. And uh, let's make it uh, just a little bit different too. So it has a value and save the scenery. Uh, let's build and uh, let's see if uh, it um, solves the issue. The issue. Okay, and uh, now that uh, with the, with the terraforming rectangle, we can see that the lamp is in its right position and is looking very good. You can still see the light, the red light here. Okay, so I hope uh, you liked the video as much as I did making it. Uh, lights are a key feature to enhance the simulator and there are several applications. Maybe if you want to make uh, some custom uh, runway uh, lights that are shining their lights in the right direction, red and green, or you make uh, some uh, Christmas lights uh, changing the emissive parameter as in a sim object, or you want to make uh, maybe uh, an helicopter pad, an helipad with the blinking lights uh, uh, shining from a long distance so you can see the pad and now you can uh, do it and if you want to learn more let me know in the comment below and uh, maybe I can do a video about uh, those stuff that I explained in this uh, final part. Hope you enjoy, subscribe the channel, subscribe the Discord if you want to chat with me and uh, see you soon. Bye bye!